Okay, regarding water pressure and volume, I want to go over just a couple terms that are used for each so you can understand them when they're applied to different situations. So I put this picture here of a firefighter fighting the fire with water pressure versus volume. Pressure is referring to that force uh, that's occurring on the, on the hose here, um, going out to extinguish the fire, and the volume is just simply that, the amount of water being applied. So let's first look at water pressure. It's measured in pounds per square inch, that's PSI, uh, and you'll typically see it's PSI, that again stands for pounds per square inch. Typical home, home water pressure is about 40 to 50 PSI. Um, excessive water pressure can lead to leaks, so we don't want to have just more pressure isn't always better. That pressure is coming from those molecules bouncing against uh, the container of the sides here. Pressure regulators can help uh, ensure that pipe pressure doesn't exceed a certain amount. That can be important for irrigation systems. However, regula regulators are mechanical, um, usually in nature, and they should be changed out so they can wear out over time. Um, you know, if you're having an increase in pressure and you have a regulator still in place, that regulator is old, you might want to change that out. You can also uh, buy some water pressure uh, gauges here so you can have an idea if that regulator is actually wearing out over time. The other one I mentioned here is water volume, and that's a measure of the amount of water that can be delivered over a set time. It can be thought of as the flow rate. So typically it's stated as gallons per minute, GPM, or gallons per hour, GPH. This can be impacted by the diameter of the pipe used, and that can affect the amount of gallons you can deliver in one minute or one hour. The minimum flow rate would be about five gallons per minute for many irrigation systems, and you want to work in some way, calculate this, so you know what your volume is, your flow rate. This is very easy to do. You simply get a five gallon pail, make sure it's marked, uh, get the hose ready, get a timer, and Start the timer, start to fill in the bucket up, and see how far you can get it in a set amount of time. And you can factor that out for a minute, you can do it for 30 seconds, uh, to just figure out what your flow rate is, because that's going to be used in a lot of irrigation calculations, as far as what you can actually run and what the flow rate is of your system. So hopefully that was helpful, explaining the volume versus pressure of water, because it is applied to a lot of situations with plants and irrigation in general.